What is going on guys? Alex here and welcome back to the channel today. I am here in Brussels, 24 hours, I'm going to two games. I said I'll be traveling Europe on this channel and that's exactly what we're doing today. So it wasn't too long ago on this channel, I went to a Premier League stadium, watched the Premier League team for 20 pounds. I then went to Ireland, did a European 50 pound challenge. And in that video, I promised that I'm gonna start traveling all around Europe and today I'm here in Brussels for 24 hours. Now I've got some really, really cheap flights. I'm here for two games. <laughs> Now these things are coming in handy. I wanted to ride some bikes, but a 15 minute ride to the ground on one of these. Well, that was the perfect time to go on a little scooter ride. We only really had half an hour on the scooters and we only really got halfway here. Decided to rain, we got lost about 50 times. We go, they're not treating us for these big uphill walks here in Brussels. I thought it was meant to be flat in Belgium, but the first game today, I can already hear the fans and I'm so excited. Here we are now, USG, first of the two grounds. We've got a big main stand over there. The only roof to stand, the rest of it is uncovered. We've got a nice terrace over here, some seating over there. A thousand away fans coming today. Now they've been playing here for over a hundred years, but it was up until three years ago, they've had a 40 year stint outside the Belgian top flight. USG are probably one of the biggest clubs in Belgium. They've been very, very unlucky. There you go, here come both teams. You can see Boris Voice, the US Ultras, as well as the away fans. I've absolutely no idea what's going on. Everyone's got their hands in the air. Kick off. Genuinely don't know where to look. You've got the Mew fans over there making some noise. You've got some sheds down here which are just providing all the beers for the away fans. You've just got to admire how unique this ground is. As you can see, it's kind of in like a forest. I mean, there's trees all around three sides. And then here, you can see the city of Brussels. Oh, oh, oh. What a save by the keeper. You've just got one man's collection of beers down there. There you go, fully deserved. 1 0 for USG. I'll be honest, Mew have had a couple of chances. They've defended well. Goalkeepers kept them in the game. But yeah, 1 0. And there you go, half time. I mean, these guys got the memo. Seriously, not a fan of the room. We've got the umbrellas out. But look at the views of this ground from up here. Probably a deserved lead to be fair for the home side. They've had plenty of chances and to be fair, the goalkeeper has kept you in this game. He's made some vital saves, especially in that first 20 minutes. It's just, you know, this 30% chance of rain has turned out to be not what I wanted. And there you go, teams are back out for the second half. Hopefully a better second half than the first anyway. Still raining. There was two main reasons I wanted to come here. Firstly, the stadium. You lot that have followed the channel for a while now love stadiums, so this one is just so unique. Secondly, the fact that there's literally nothing on YouTube of anyone coming here. And I, I, I was just intrigued. 
and look the Belgium Cup probably not always the best example of a club but this one absolute huge fan of it from the stadium the terrace in the fan culture I mean all the fans that have been here have just been so friendly so welcoming and one huge thing I've noticed is there's no real hostility between the two teams there's a thousand other away fans here and these union fans have done nothing but support their team. I mean, these lot have been fantastic. Fourth tier of Belgian football. This is like pretty much amateur, semi-professional. And on the pitch, I mean, they've been a class act as well. It's been a much closer game than I expected, but thoroughly enjoyed it. You've even got one bloke behind the goal dressed as a crocodile, lining up for a shed to get a beer. Completely against the run of play, but what a fantastic chance. They took it well, good goal. Of course, the rain has come back, everyone's putting their hoods back up. A minute later, Union make it 2 1. We're into the final four minutes of added time and I've got to say this next game later on has got a lot to live up to because this ground probably one of my favourites I've ever visited. I mean the game itself hasn't been brilliant. I mean you know, Union have probably dominated and they just haven't put their chances away. But these lot over here haven't stopped. Them away fans have been fantastic for a team in the fourth tier of Belgian football. But honestly, do not think I'll be able to describe how mental this ground is. Absolutely unreal. <laughs> USG2, you one look. Fantastic support from some fourth tier fans. Fantastic support from former Belgian champions. And an absolutely unreal ground. Unbelievable stadium. They don't make them like that anymore. Over 100 years old and it's pretty much untouched other than obviously the health and safety. And we're only halfway through the day. Off to get some scooters. Probably going to get some more food. I'm tired. I'll probably need a nap. We've got another game to go to. Right, here we are. Frit London. <coughs> ourselves some large chips. Coke. These lot are massive on their chips, so I'm expecting big things. I know I'm sat outside on a table and chair, but I'm not rate my takeaway, so I can't give you a good review, but they're bloody lovely. Right, them chips, they filled me up, killed me off a little bit. We've got one more game to go. We're back on the scooters and we're off to the next ground. And that's the scooters done and dusted. We are arriving at RWD Molenbeek, another team in the first division in Belgium here in Brussels. There we go. Arrived at the second ground, Molenbeek. 
another new ground. A little bit more of a stadium, to be honest. A bit of a weird one, though. You've got terracing over here, which seems to be closed. You've got this stand, which is half nice seating, half not nice seating. And then you've got this really steep stand that we're in. Pitch looks immaculate, by the way. Well, tonight's opponents, Olympic Charleroi. They play in the third tier of Belgian football. They're meant to be at home tonight, but after some kerfuffle going on, basically the game had to be moved here which has benefited us a little bit we did plan to go to Charleroi anyway but it has benefited us because we're able to get chips chill out a little bit more we're able to kind of chill in the ground now hoping for a little bit of a better game on the pitch anyway than what we saw earlier but should be a little bit more competitive this is Molenbeek's first season back in the pro league oh she reformed back in 2008 obviously they've built themselves up the leagues it was back in 2015 i believe they got promoted away at charleroi anyway here come the teams they've just gone back up had a little bit of an explore we couldn't even buy a drink because uh, we're not regulars there's the away end charleroi abroad they weren't there 25 minutes ago and you've got all the big down there as well. I mean they've got a whole mariachi band with them. Trump pitch, trump bones, trump the lot. I mean fair play to them. And there you go, we've got a kick off here. Oh, they've got the whole band. It's not been at an England game. I'll tell you what, it is absolutely freezing up here because the stadium is so over yourself here, especially at night, absolutely freezing. <laughs> 27 minutes gone at night, it's a high load. Comfortable here. You've got the marching band up in front over there. You've got them ultras over there who haven't shut off this whole game. And then you've just got me. Lay back. Relaxing. at the break and I wasn't expecting that reaction to be honest on the home crowd there's been a few booing and jeers throughout the first half but I didn't expect that see not much to comment on at all there's probably a goalkeeping error that you know Charleroi got unlucky with Molenbeek have had a couple of chances one had a brilliant save by the Charleroi goalkeeper 0-0 at the break hopefully it's a little bit more to talk about in this second half and I feel like Molenbeek are going to make you know a little bit of a statement here, making three changes, answering all that booze from these fans at half time. Fantastic. 
know, they're all just in the corner, the ones around me, all back in the team. Yeah, they were probably a bit negative at half time. The away fans, you know, a team in the third tier bringing three, four hundred on, making some noise. We've got a trombone over there. I paid three quid to get in here. And uh, yeah, football in Belgium is wicked. And it might be biased because it was the first European country I ventured to other than Ireland and Spain. But I'm just a huge fan of football here in Belgium. Brilliant to kick off another ground while here in Belgium. Both sets of fans, class act. But I'll tell you what, I won't be watching the highlights of that game. Anyway, Island Beak, it's been a pleasure. Them ultras, fantastic. Them lot, I mean, fair play. Third tier of Belgian football. Brilliant support. Anyway, that is my boat done in Belgium. Off on one of these scooters, then getting a the coach to the airport. Very early flight back to England tomorrow, but Belgium. It's been a pleasure, I'll be back. I'll be traveling all over Europe on this channel. So if you do enjoy the video, and you do enjoy, you know, the different types of videos I do. Subscribe, because over 70% of my viewers aren't. And if you were, it would mean a lot. It would help so much. I want to hit 6K by the end of the year. And I'm going to continue to do all the Coventry games. We've got two games this weekend, and hopefully another European trip before the end of the year. So if you enjoy the video, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in a bit.